Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Glock 45 MOS versus the A-Rex Delta Gen 2 that has an X-frame. Both have four inch barrels, both are optic ready, both hold 17 rounds. However, the A-Rex Delta has a 19 round mag. Let's start with the Glock 45. I really like this Glock. I think it's a fine addition to the Glock lineup. Full size grip, models the G17 with 17 round mags. Has forward serrations, optic plates made by Glock that will suit a variety of different types. What I have here is a Swamp Fox Justice Red Dot. And I have said before, I've become a fan of Swamp Fox. Nice trigger pull. Pretty standard with Glock, five and a half pounds with a short reset. Overall, it's been extremely reliable. That's, what's Glock, that's what Glock is known for, reliable handguns. It has fed, fired, ejected, everything I put through it. I've owned it for about four or five months now, have quite a few rounds through it, and I've been happy with the performance. Let's go ahead and take some shots, and then we'll check out the A-Rex Delta. Where is that red? I need to paint these targets. Boy, that that rabbit just blends in with the the hill. I need to paint those targets. But anyhow, the Glock 45 MOS modular optic system. I think Glock did a great job with this, and I like the way it holds 17 rounds, and I have no complaints. With it, I have considered it my favorite Glock until I got, I got the Glock 41 MOS. That's a 45 with a 5.3 inch barrel. Already been there, done that. Let's talk about the A-Rex Delta. This is modular. When I first picked this up locally, it had a M frame, which is smaller. This has the X frame, it's an OD green loaded with features as i mentioned a 19 round mag four inch barrel a full pick rail there as where the glock has an accessory rail which is a one slot rail if you will serrated black rear sights front dot optic ready what i have here is a right red dot i like the swamp fox a little better but the right certainly does okay ambidextrous mag z release and slide stop Nice trigger pull, breaks around six pounds, a little heavier than the Glock, but overall, not bad. I have the Gen 1 model. I think when they came out with the Gen 2, they, they did a fine job. It has a loaded chamber indicator, a cock striker indicator in the back of the slide, a little bit of a flare in the magwell, has some extra textured grips on there, but I like the way this performs too. And it's a bit cheaper. You can pick this up for right around 400 bucks. That's where the Glock is right around 550 to 600. So it's a little bit cheaper. I don't know. Disassembles kind of the same. Same idea, but a little different with the A-Rex. I will show that. Where's that rabbit? There it is. I keep missing it. I miss the rabbit with the, the Glock and the A-Rex Delta. What I was talking about with the disassemble, you just have to bring it back a little bit, pull the trigger, bring it back a little bit like that, and it just comes off. You don't have to slide it off, and then you just get it in place here, and it goes back on. So it's similar concept, but a little bit different. I, I find both handguns to be very nice. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the Glock 45 MOS. It's not that the A-Rex Delta Gen 2 isn't worthy. It is, but I just feel a little more confident with this at this time. Now, this is a hundred bucks less. It's also two and a quarter ounces lighter, closer to two and a half ounces lighter. And when you feel them both loaded and unloaded, you can feel that the A-Rex Delta is a little bit lighter. 
Does that matter in recoil impulse? Not really, two and a half ounces isn't gonna make that big of a deal. But I'm gonna go with the Glock 45 MOS over the A-Rex Delta Gen 2. I like that it's modular. I like some of the updated features. I like what this offers. It just seems to hit home with me more than I ever thought it would. And what I really want to know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.